Well, when I told my family uh, that I was going to Mexico and, you know, not like Cancun or Puerto Vallarta or anything like that, um, they were like, oh, you know, be careful. You know, there's, there's a lot of drugs out there and people will just snatch you up because, you know, you're a little white girl. And I mean, I've never, I've never been a feel, fearful person. Um, but when I did get there at first, it was kind of, you know, a whole new world. I didn't really speak the language. I didn't know much about um, the country or its history and any, anything like that. So um, as I was down there, as I learned more about the country, I realized that it wasn't this crime ridden place where, you know, the narcos go or, you know, people get, you know, killed in these brutal ways. That's not all there is to Mexico. It's that stuff like that does happen, but people forget that that happens in America too. I was more interested in the people who were in Mexico who were living their day-to-day -day lives, you know, making tortillas or, you know, weaving fabric or just selling their goods out of stalls. Like, those are the people that I was interested in. And um, I found those people in Mexico. And I think if more people in America saw that those people um, existed in Mexico, then maybe some of the, the notions would, you know, dissipate a little bit. I had never been out of the country before, so this was my uh, first experience to even go outside of the United States. Um, but what I really discovered was just the rich culture that's so embedded in everybody in Mexico. And I think that's something that the United States has kind of gotten away from. I left a little piece of my heart in Mexico um, because that was the first country I'd ever visited outside of the United States. The people were so warm, so gracious, and so welcoming. I would recommend going to Mexico, the real Mexico. Um, to anybody.